we're going to talk about basic LinkedIn bidding options. So I'm going to go into a campaign here, a cold campaign, and we're going to go into edit and we are going to look at the options. So the bidding options are down here. They have it nicely sectioned off for you. So you have your objective, audience, ad format, placement, and budget. So you can just skip down to budget or if you're changing um, a campaign that's already active, you can click here on the daily budget and it will jump you straight to the budget section, uh, budget and schedule section of that campaign. Really nice hack for you, you're welcome. You can, I'll just send my invoice for $100 to, well, you let me know, I'll send it over. So here, I'm gonna talk about what this is, the basics, what you can do with it, what you shouldn't do with it, and stuff like that. Uh, so here we go. The budget is, these are the three options, set both a daily and lifetime budget, set a daily budget, and set a lifetime budget. So I am a huge fan of setting a daily budget, and I'll explain these options. So a lifetime budget would be, you set a specific timeline or a specific amount or an amount in a timeline for an ad or a campaign to, well, I guess it would be a campaign to run and then die essentially. So for an example, I could create a really cool post or a blog or a press release and I could put a thousand dollars behind it and have it run for 30 days. And I could say it needs to end uh, at the end of this month and it has a total of a thousand dollar ad spend. Um, so let me show you what that would look like. Um, set a lifetime budget. Okay, well, this one's, this, I'll just have to explain it because this one, uh, yeah, I'd have to, I don't want to mess up my own campaign here. Um, ooh, let me change that. Okay, so you're seeing these options here. So a lifetime would be you set a, an end date on it. Now you can move that goalpost. So I could say I wanted to spend $1,000 and the end and the end date is the end of this month. And at the end of this month, I could simply reevaluate and I could move those goalposts. I could then, um, I could then, let's just make this because it won't let me do anything. You would just have to keep moving, oops, you would have to keep moving these goalposts. So for instance, at the end of month one, you spent $1,000, you would then have to up the lifetime budget to $2,000 and then change the end date to the end of the next month for it to spend another $1,000 within the next 30 days. Um, but then you would want to either adjust your bidding or your pace so that it doesn't just spend the $1,000 in the first four days. Um, ideally you would want to evenly paste. So you would want to either control the bid or you would set a daily and a lifetime budget. So you could say my lifetime budget is now 2000, but I still don't want to spend more than $25 a day. And the easiest way to calculate like daily budget is just take the total budget you have for the month and divide it by, you know, either 30 or 31 days to come up with a daily budget. So for example, if you wanted to spend $1,000 a month, the daily budget is usually about $33 a day um, is what I would usually do. Now, the lifetime budget and daily lifetime, you know, this combo, that's great for like promotional stuff. I think of marketing as more, you know, the, the majority of the marketing I do is an ongoing, never ending process. So when I do a, you know, our own, I set a daily budget and I let it run continuously and I'm simply monitoring, reporting on it, optimizing it, but it's not something like, okay, I have a June, July, I have a summer promotional thing going like in B2B, it's usually just ongoing. I mean, you may have like a list or a list of accounts that you're working and you may put a, like a test budget on it and a time frame, and then evaluate. But the best kind of marketing is just kind of usually one that's rolling and continuously flowing and doesn't have these start stop dates. Um, so that's just my opinion there. So those are, those are the options there where you have daily and lifetime set a daily budget, set a lifetime budget. Uh, and then you have the option of run continuously or set a start and end date. So this is my preference of setting a daily budget, letting it run continuously and simply monitoring and calculating what I want my overall budget to be. And with setting a, you know, $250 a day budget, you know, what's that six or $7,000 a month that it's going to spend on this campaign. Um, that's what I've calculated and I'm okay with that. And if at any point I want to slow it down, I can just come in and change the daily budget and it'll change my pacing. Um, the next is bidding. Uh, so here's your main options and optimization goal. By default, 
This is aligned with your campaign objective. We'll show your ads to members most likely to take actions, uh, the actions you desire. And so the main bidding options that you have is maximum delivery or manual bidding. And I would say the easiest way for you to run a LinkedIn ads campaign is simply set it to maximum delivery automated. And for the most part, you're not going to be wasting a ton of spend. I would say that probably every expert is going to tell you that a manual bidding option is going to end up saving you more money. Uh, it's just also going to take you more time to find that sweet spot, adjust up and down. But the basic strategy behind that would be, um, let me show you here. The basic strategy would be to start very low with a low bid um, and a high daily you know, amount. And for you to keep coming back and upping the bid until it actually spends the daily amount that you want. And that way you're kind of starting from the ground floor with the lowest bid and you keep bidding up and up until it actually finally spends that $250 a day that you're looking to spend. Um, and at that point you found, you know, where your manual bid should be. And nine times out of 10, when you go through that manual process, the manual bid that you found and the cost per click that you end up with is going to be lower than what LinkedIn's automated algorithm would have put you at. And some quick ways you can kind of look at that. I would probably, a lot of times I start with automated bidding. Um, and with our campaign, I mean, I'm automated bidding's not going to get me below $3 cost per click. Like I'm like, a, or the manual bidding's not going to get me any lower than this. In fact, I don't think selecting a bid under $3 is even an option for my campaign. Um, so I have a lot of things going for me in this campaign um, that most people would not. And just for those of you, I'm, I'm not using the LinkedIn audience network. I'm not doing expansion. I am putting all of my ad spend behind one cold creative. That cold created creative has select, has accumulated a lot of social proof, which includes hundreds of likes over a hundred comments. Even someone shared this. Um, I'm even getting more comments, uh, 14 hours ago. I didn't reply to this. So immediately after this video, I'm going to jump in. And I'm going to reply to these, which will keep uh, boosting the stats and visibility of this ad and will keep driving down the cost per click. Um, but for the most part, the manual bidding and starting at the floor and working your way up is a great way to go. If I go into a performance chart, um, here's one easy way that you can kind of look at it. You can look at all time and you can see your average cost per click. Um, so let me do it on a, let me do it on an, an active campaign. I mean, most of mine are going to be lower cost per click than, you know, a lot of companies we work with, but let me find one that's high and see if we, if it would make sense. So I have a retargeting video, uh, so this isn't going to be quite the same. Yeah. These are videos that are high. Um, but ideally let's do this one. Now these are all videos, whatever. So I'm going to go into this one. And it's a uh, $10 average cost per click. I'm going to go in here. Uh, it just hasn't even been running that, that long, but you could theoretically, you could look at, you know, over time, what your average cost per click is and just kind of take out the extremes. So 21, 60, it got up to 60, 90, um, it got down to 10. So I could say, you know, maybe take those, take out the extremes and I could say, you know, I'd be happy if I could get this down to 10 or 15 or whatever. And so you can come back there into that specific campaign and you can change it to a manual bid of, you know, 10, 11, 12, or start a little lower and walk it up. But chances are you could cap it at like 12 or 13. So you wouldn't experience those extreme highs of 21 anymore. You'd be kind of wrangling it down. Sure. There might be some days where it doesn't spend the full amount, but your spend would be more efficient. Um, so that's the big trade off is you can, you know, decide to save a little money and, um, and invest more time in managing it and go with the manual bidding, or you can save some time and waste a little more money by leaving it on maximum delivery. Or if you have a really good ad set that's going and the cost per click is super low, uh, then, you know, you might have to worry about it either. So the other thing. The last thing about this is um, optimization goal. So you have website conversions, you have landing page clicks, or you have impressions. So let me just walk you through this. I mean, 
someone might say, well, why wouldn't I want just website conversions? So the first reason being you have a new ad account or you don't have that many conversions in your ad account, LinkedIn wouldn't know what it's optimizing for unless you have a lot of conversions in your account history, selecting that you want it to optimize for conversions just doesn't necessarily mean anything to it because it doesn't know, it doesn't have enough data to know what a conversion looks like in order to optimize for that. So initially for, you know, cold, you might just be looking for landing page visits. And that's also up in the, um, the objective, which will be a separate video. It's kind of the same idea. You might want to optimize just for the clicks and then um, in retargeting, you might just optimize for impressions or landing page clicks. And then once your account has enough information, is consistently getting conversions, you can switch some of these out for conversions. Um, so that would be the basics of budget and bidding.